Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the top five things to do in Beverly Hills. Now, don't worry, I'm a Los Angeles native. I was born and raised in Los Angeles. So I'm gonna give you the top five things to do while you're here in Beverly Hills. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. And don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and if you wanna see more things to do in Los Angeles. First things first, coffee. We had to get our early morning coffee at Alfred. It's a trendy cafe with all types of really good drinks. I would 110% recommend this place. Grabbing your drink from Alfred since it's really close to all the locations that I'll be talking about today. And yeah, we just had to get our delicious coffee from Alfred. Yum. Starting with number one, you're gonna head to Beverly Drive. Now this street specifically that we're filming is South Beverly Drive. There's delicious restaurants, cafes, and a couple of shops things to do you can just walk down the street up and down it's not as popular as rodeo drive which i'll be talking about soon but it is kind of like a must do when you're here number two beverly gardens park it's a 1.9 mile linear park with tons of beautiful scenery as well as a giant beverly hills sign i'm sure you guys have seen many photos of that it starts at wilshire and santa monica boulevard it ends at doheny and santa monica boulevard again and it's honestly the location that's super popular at beverly hills the beverly hills sign is one of the most photographed spots in the city and it's just so awesome it's a favorite sign from both residents and visitors and the sign is 40 feet long it illuminates at night and it has a beautiful water feature along the sign surrounding the garden area and it's just so beautiful you have to take photos there videos and just be like hey i'm in beverly hills also this is kind of a bonus but as you guys can see we're driving down this beautiful and iconic street full of palm trees that's when you know you're in beverly hills guys and at the end of this road, you hit a very, very crazy, crazy Beverly Hills intersection. And it's a six-way intersection meeting at three streets, Lomitas, Beverly, and Cannon Drive. So be careful if you're ever driving and you rent a car here in Los Angeles. This is a really crazy intersection where people get into accidents because some people really can't drive here. Um, so it's a really crazy intersection. This is the crazy intersection, guys. Pretty much everyone here can't drive, so... Like this one. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> this is another park, Will Rogers. It's pretty fun. Also, this is another bonus. Checking out the Beverly Hills Hotel. You can go in, check out the lobby. I think we've been there like one time just to check out the lobby. We haven't stayed there yet, but we definitely will. And of course, we'll have to document it for you guys, but it's definitely really cool. And the sign is iconic. And just to take a picture of the sign is really cool. So if you are driving, Please pay attention because Beverly Hills has the most cameras like literally on every street. So be careful. Number three, of course, is Rodeo Drive. I'm sure you guys have all heard of this place. It's one of the most famous places in the world. Rodeo Drive is literally one of the most luxurious destinations to be. There's tons of shopping and dining to choose from. And whether you want to take a stroll and window shop or spend all your money on some of the most expensive stores, it's the place you have to be when you visit Beverly Hills. So definitely Rodeo Drive is a must see on your trip in Beverly Hills. It's very iconic, featured in many movies and TV shows so definitely take a stroll down Rodeo Drive. Number four is Two Rodeo Drive. Two Rodeo is right by Rodeo Drive. It's in the glittering heart of Beverly Hills. It's a world-renowned designer shopping district and it features restaurants and shops. It's one of the most luxurious outdoor shopping areas. Of course, you guys have seen it in many, many movies, TV shows, everywhere. Everyone's there photographing and taking videos and posing like Cher like you're in Clueless. And honestly, me too. It's one of the most famous and most expensive shopping street in the world. And it's just so such an iconic place to rodeo is one of a kind as you guys can see in this clip it's featured in clueless when she's sad about josh and it's just so iconic it's it's amazing i love it Also, this is another quick bonus. This is the Beverly Wilshire, a Four Seasons Hotel, and it was featured in the movie Pretty Woman. And 
Lastly, number five is the Spadina House. It's also known as the Witch's House, and it's a storybook house located in Beverly Hills. It's in the corner of Walden Street and Carmelita Avenue. And if you've ever seen Clueless, like I have a million times, you've seen Cher walk right past this house, and it's so iconic, like it's crazy. I just did a video just on the house. I'll put that in the description box. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna live here so bad. Um, but giving you guys a little bit of history about the house is that it was designed by a Hollywood art director, Harry Oliver, and it was originally built in 1921. It was in a movie studio lot, but now it is a private residence. They couldn't find a buyer to, you know, obviously buy the house, but then Michael LeBeau, a real estate agent, actually did not want to see the home demolished. And of course I wouldn't either. This is an iconic house. He ended up purchasing it and made a whole renovation for it it's so beautiful it's so freaking cool i want to live there so bad i'm like michael lebeau bro let me buy that house from you um but it's so awesome definitely check it out it takes some cool shots it's really a beautiful beautiful house look at it theming is on point guys look at that Seriously, such a cool house, guys. Definitely check it up if you're, check it up, <laughs> check it out if you're in the Beverly Hills area. Oh my gosh. Look how cool, like this detail is beautiful. I wanna live here. Amazing views. Wow. So beautiful. I love it, I love it. Twelve out of ten would recommend coming here, taking some shots, dress up like a witch if you want to get into it, right? Yeah, I wanted to do that for Halloween, but no one took me. It's okay, we're here now. <laughs> it's so beautiful. We want to live here. Oh my gosh, that's nice. Oh my god, we don't want to leave <laughs> the side entrance door. Hey guys. And that is it, the top five things to do in Beverly Hills. I really hope you guys get to check out these five top locations when you come down to Los Angeles, specifically Beverly Hills. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. And of course, turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. If you guys wanna see more Los Angeles videos, let me know what you wanna see and I will definitely do it because born and raised in Los Angeles and I love it, but I definitely wanna show some tips and tricks and if you're planning a trip down here, what to do and what to see and things to do. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys later.